this module we will discuss some features of women's language how their language is different as was claimed by robin lacker actually this was a seminal book seminal book jisse aage behas chale that provides basis for further discussion talk and research so after this book actually people started taking interest in relationship between language and gender so that's why we are discussing uh, these uh, features with reference to robin lacker feminist linguists support feminist demand as we discussed in previous modules which demand for equal opportunity to women equal pay equal access to power in politics and uh, powerful positions and uh, law and business in different fields of life which are accessible to men should also be accessible to women so here linguists and feminists were on the same page this demand encouraged middle class women to look to act and speak like men they got confidence they first time understood their importance in society feminist linguists pointed out sexism in english language so first of all we have talked about the influence the effect of feminism and linguistics on middle class women what happened when feminists and linguists joined hands to raise voice of women you have seen the social effect of that middle class women started joining men's domains profession the second effect was that feminist linguists pointed out that in english language we have certain terms and words which promote difference on the basis of sex this is called sexism for example they pointed out that this generic he that we use for both male and female and uh, then male agent nouns like chairman watchman etc so agent nouns mean a person who does something agent means a doer doer of something okay so these male terms they covered both men and women chairman for both male chairman and female chairman so this was wrong this was sexism then semantic asymmetries what do we mean by this master mistress so when we talk about males we we say master and females mistress so this division shows that one refers to masculine the other refers to feminine this also creates asymmetry adam tawazan paida hota hai isse bhi division paida hoti hai lack of view that women's language disempowers them it is weak it snatches their power from them they are very soft and polite their language is weak it disempowers them so this view boosted work on the role of language and discourse use of language in gendering so after she proposed this view research on use of language 
especially the study of discourse started in the field of sociolinguistics and feminist linguistics. So this credit goes to Robin Lagoff. For example, some features are uh, shared with you. Women use hedges. Hedges means they avoid direct expressions. For example, you could add a little bit of fresh lemon if you like. Okay. They don't say add a little bit of fresh lemon. Instead, they say you could add a little bit. So this use of could shows that they are avoiding a direct imposition on some other person. They are not making direct request. Similarly, they are oversensitive in matters of accuracy. This is called hypercorrectness. For example, Americans, they often drop ing from uh, such forms like reading, writing, playing. They pronounce them as read-in, play-ning. Plain in, right in. So they, they drop the last ga song. So, but when women use uh, such words which end at ing, they pronounce this ga song. Men, they drop it. So they are hyper correct, uh, they are sensitive to accuracy. Similarly, they use super polite form. For example, they won't say sorry, they would say extremely sorry, super polite. Thank you, no, thank you very much, thank you very, very much, like this. And they often avoid dirty jokes. Here is a task talk to some working woman and uh, try to record her conversation with permission. After recording the conversation, note down features of the language of that woman and match those features with the ones which we have discussed in this module. Linguistic studies like that of lack of provided an academic grounding to political movement. So what started as just as a political movement in form of feminism became a discipline, a field of study. Why? Because of the contribution of linguists like Robin Lacker. This interest engaged intellectuals to explore relations between language and gender through research and writing.